Hi everyone, this is Holly, um, aka Scrap and Derb. Yesterday I went to a um, the Creating Keepsakes scrapbook convention and did a ton of shopping and I've been asked to do a haul video. This is my first one, so be, please be patient with me. I'll probably stutter and shake a little bit until I get the hang of this and make sure everything's on camera. Um, so I'll just go ahead and start showing you what I got. This is one of my favorite things from yesterday. They had a bunch of them, but I just love this little girl because she has her jammies and one in the little clock. And then the journaling spot there. And this I have seen online many times. It's the Tim Holtz butterfly stamp. So I picked that up. I'm just kind of going to just grab, I guess, whatever's to my left and keep showing you. I got three um, Tim Holtz inks. And this one is Peacock Feathers. This one is Weathered Wood. And this one is Shaded Lilac. Um, I try to, I kind of have a strategy whenever I go to these things. And I try to pick up things that I can't necessarily get all year long at like Hobby Lobby or AC Moore. And I try to go for the tools and the stamps and stuff you can use over and over again. Instead of like the papers and stickers and stuff like that. Um, this is just a little tiny deck of cards. I thought it would be cool for junk journaling and mixed media stuff and I can decoupage them and do different things with them. That was only a buck too. Um, let me see what else here. I got some twine and then I also picked up some baker's twine. I wanted purple of course because everyone knows I love purple. So I wanted to get purple so I can bind some of my junk journals that I'm trying to alter books with. Um, I have a pair of tweezers now which I desperately needed because I didn't have a pair of those before. And I'm going to try, I don't know if I said this yet or not, I'm going to try to like hold everything up so you guys can see the names of everything. Um, just so you can pause it and write it down if it's something you want to look for. Um, this is just a clear stamp. And this was only a buck. And then these are little labels, um, and they were only a dollar too. Um, I got some new gelatos, or gelatos, I don't know um, how you pronounce them exactly. I got that, and of course I had to get the purple um, Faber-Castell ink pen. I have the black one and love it, so I had to get the purple. Um, finally got some ink of gold. In gold, I should have gotten the purple too, but figured I'll try it with this and see how I like it. Um, Eden Green stays on because my local stores don't have them. And I really wanted green for flower stems. Oh, geez. Let me see. I'll do the paints. Which other ones? The paint. I got three distress paints from Tim Holtz. Uh, mustard seed, crushed pewter, and antique bronze. And then I got two distress stains. Tim Holtz distress stains. It's picked raspberry and aged mahogany. I've been wanting the black and white gelato or gelato for a long time and I couldn't find them in the individual pack and then my sister actually found them and they're larger than the regular ones and they're called double scoop. Um, so I got the black and the white. I love that it says double scoop right on it. <laughs> I'm easily amused. And then I got a crocodile which I can't believe I've been scrapbooking and doing this stuff for about 10 years and I Never got one of these yet. Um, I got Perfect Pearls Grape Fizz. Purple, of course. And then uh, Pomegranate Seed and Dirty Martini, which are Delusions colors that I can't get at my local stores. And then I guess I'll go through here individually and show you some more stamps. Um, Teresa Collins, Stationery Noted. His little postcard and the letters. I love the owl and the typewriter. Um, this one is Forever in Time clear stamps and it's actually packaged sideways so I'll turn it sideways here for you. And of course you know the butterfly and the heart and the birdcage and the owl. Um, Heartfelt Creations. They had a bunch of different die cuts and stuff to go with it but I just like this because it was a big text um, large elegant word background pre-cut set 
So that'll be cool to ink up for backgrounds. That's what the back of it looks like. These two I just absolutely love. The Rubber Cafe Steampunk. I love that. And the Heart and the Wings. I love that too. And then here's another one. My sister spent a lot of time at this stand, so the more I hung out there, the more I went and picked up and bought. I think I went through the line like three times <laughs> to get stuff because I have a stamp addiction. Um, this one, she's kind of weird, I guess, because she doesn't really have a forehead, but I really like her. Um, I've never seen these in person before, so I picked up this. This is the Stampendous uh, Franz stamp. This one is another set of stamps. Sorry about the lighting. I have a bunch of lights on here and it's kind of cloudy out today. I'm trying to maneuver it so you guys can see it in the camera. Um, that's Forever in Time is the name of that one. Oh, crap. I guess this one's Forever in Time, too. Maybe that's not the name. <laughs> I don't know. Vintage Ink. There we go. This one is the Vintage Ink, which I'll show you right there. It says... And then this one is the Forever in Time. Two bucks. Check it out. Forever in Time. And this one is Time Pieces. Um, this chick's awesome because she has butterflies in her hair. And I can't resist butterflies. So I thought that would be fun. This is the Bloom Collection. Um, Jamie, Jamie Daughtry, I think. And her name's Sharon. Uh, vintage backgrounds. It's a set of two. Actually, this one's packaged sideways too. I bought this just for this stamp right here. Vintage tour rock and roll. Has the guitars and the text on it. That is just too cool. And then another set of stamps. I think this is like a five buck deal. Um, I'll show these all to you. And this one is farmhouse um, clear stamps. And I don't really see a name of it on the back. It just says 302 stamps on the back. Unless I'm just blind and not seeing it. Um, I got envelope templates because I'm tired of trying to rip envelopes and make up um, like templates. So this is three mini envelopes, which I haven't even pulled them apart yet. And so I thought they would be cool for the junk journaling. Um, they're by Judy Kins. Then I got another one, which is a square envelope template. This one's also Judy Kins. And then this one, they had the oblong one, so I thought that was really cool. Um, the, I'm not even going to try to say that. I won't embarrass myself that bad. <laughs> Alright, and this one, I'm into the skull thing for some reason. I never thought I would be. I guess I can blame James for that. <laughs> but um, I got the Tim Holtz alterations um, skull stamp and then I got some crackers workshop stencils um, the cassette tapes which they are just so awesome I love the 80s and 80s music it's the mini mixtape set this one I've been looking at forever online and I just haven't bought it yet so I got this one Zenspirations um, this one's the mini live laugh love I said that backwards, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> and then here's another one that I picked up. Um, Rebecca Meyer Designs. And this one is the Mini Harlequin Circles. More butterflies. Um, elementals. I've never seen these really anywhere, but I saw the butterflies and absolutely loved it. I got this bad boy. This is more gelatos or gelatos. I always think of Rita's. The gelatos. Is that what they're called? I don't remember. Um, but this is like a whole little kit. And I saw that butterfly on there. And I already have some. And then of course you saw I got some more. So I'm not really sure what all you can do with them. So I mainly got this because it has this little instruction booklet in it. 
and then it comes with like two stencils and some tools and paper so I need to pull that book out and read it and then I got the large stencil um, the bloom collection um, it's a 12 by 12 stencil that has the girl on it and then it also has three flowers sorry about the lighting and then I actually finally broke down and got the big shot um, <laughs> I can't even move it all the way into the camera because it will hit my tripod here um, so I was so excited I got that and then to go with that I got four um, of the Tim Holtz dies and of course they have deals on it you buy three or buy one get one half off um, so I got the tag die cut butterfly die cut of course the um, on the edge butterflies and then um, Tim Holtz flowers and then because I spent, I think, 100 or more, then they gave me this. This was like a free gift. Um, it's embossing folders. So that's what those look like. And then, of course, um, I had to get a bunch of embossing folders. Because I don't really have any, and now I have a big shot. So I'll just kind of try to show you these quickly. Um, don't know where all the names of these are at. So I'll just hold them each up so you all can see them. I love the tickets and the negatives. Well, I love everything. I can't help it. I have an addiction. <laughs> so there's that one. Uh, sorry, I'm looking for... Oh, there it is. Oh my god. I'm just blind. This one's the movie theme three pack. This one is the records. <laughs> that is so cool. I'll show you back there. It says records. Um, Ultimate Crafts Universal Embossing Folder um, Timepiece. So it has the clocks and the keys on it. This one is Travel Icon Background. And that is Daris. Um, another Daris. It has owls. Aren't they so cute? <laughs> I love them. Um, owls on a Twig is the name of this one. not really sure how to use these um, my sister's friend was telling me a bunch of different things I can do for them I don't really do cards but she said I could use them in mixed media so I'll just have to play with it and see what I can find this one is mason jar um, and it's actually pretty big I mean I'll hold my hand up to it so you can see like it's almost the size of my hand little notebook um, embossing folder this one's Darius also and this one's just called Notebook Paper. Um, another one, this is Piano Notes. So that is just awesome. I played the piano from kindergarten to third grade. The piano's on this side and then music notes on this side. And one more thing. Um, here is one more embossing folder. And this one is Antique Keys. So there you have it. I tried to do this as quickly as possible because I hate haul videos where people ramble one and one like I'm doing now. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please ask. And I will see you soon. Keep calm and rock on.